All right, so what I'm going to do is demonstrate how to use a beige box. And a uh, beige box is a is a probably the, the the simplest freak box you can make. Which, for those of you who don't know, um, freaking is hacking the telephone system, basically. And a beige box is a device you use to connect a telephone directly to someone's phone line. And then you can listen in on their line and use their line to place outgoing calls with the phone that you have connected to your, with the phone that you're using with your beige box. And, um... It's a relatively simple device. Here we'll look at the parts of it. First, we have here this um, RJ11 telephone cable. On one side, you just have the modular jack on one side. On the other side, what I do is I stripped off a bit of it to expose these two gray wires. And then I stripped off a bit of, on the end, off the end of the gray wires to expose the copper wiring inside of the wires. And then what I do is I connect an alligator clip to each of those wires. So the copper makes contact with the metal of the clips. And um, so what you do with this is you, do, is you um, connect it to the phone you want to use with it. In this case, this is El Cheapo phone I bought at Walmart here, which has a um, hook switch here, keypad, redial button, that's about it. A little microphone, speaker, earbud thing, whatever. And so this, to connect to here, okay, there it is, it's connected. So, um, with this, anyway, um, these, um, these telephone cables, they often would have a red and green wire instead of just the two gray wires. And oftentimes they'd have four instead of two wires. And if, 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 yours, if yours has four, then the only ones you need are the um, red and green one. But in this case, mine had two gray wires, uh, because apparently this is the way they're making them these days. And um, so what I did was I, was I actually found out that, um, because usually what I read was, it was um, with the red and green, you're supposed to match it up with the corresponding red and green wires, which um, are ring and tip, that's what they're called, respectively, on the uh, telephone network interface that you want to connect your beige box to. But with mine, I found out it works either way. I don't know why it does, but I found out it works either way, so I could have this connected to the uh, to the red wire or the green wire, and it works either way. So, uh, so I think that's about it with our beige box here. I guess what we should do now is go outside and put this thing to use, hook it up to a TNI. All right, so here we have the telephone network interface. And um, it's at night right now, so we have to use a light. What we're gonna do is use this flathead to kinda, I've already unscrewed it a little bit to save myself some time here. I think it's almost uh, loose enough right here. Just kinda loosen that up. And there you have it. And this is the uh, inside of the TNI here. Get the light down right by the wires. As you can see, line one, line two, there's two lines here. This one on this side is not in use. So we'll get a little, as you can see, network interface jack. Do not remove this cover. I haven't removed that cover yet. And uh, here we have the, uh, I think the uh, red one is connected to here. The light on here. And the uh, green one connects to here, I, I believe. Although for, for my uh, beige box, it will just clip them on one on each of these. We'll clip onto these screws here because um, it's too difficult to clip onto the copper because so little of the copper is exposed here. Put, put the light on here. And um, so um, what we'll do is we'll just clip on one of the alligator clips to each of these uh, to each of these uh, to each of these screws here. All right. So now what I'm going to do is uh, clip on one of these alligator clips to each of these screws here. And I just, I just push the hook switch on this uh, phone here, and I have, a, I have a dial tone right now. So it's working. And uh, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna make a test call All right, so what we're going to do now is dial a, a test number. This number will read back the time, and it is 767-8900, I believe.
Okay, now, another, now we're going to dial another test number. This is the Proctor test set number. And, okay, we're going to put that put up by the, by the mic again. Proctor test set. Please select test. Line test. Dial 2. Complete ringer test. Please... Okay, so we actually was thinking about making some more test calls, like trying out some other function of the Proctor test set. The one I just did was ring back, so it called my phone back. But um, I decided I should probably give this line a rest for the night. I've been connected to it long enough. So I'm just going to take these clips off. It's really easy to do. And screw this thing back on. <laughs> 